Hello, my name is Vinay Kumar and I will talk about how to create dependent LOVs in Oracle ADF. I have created, I mean, I have made a connection to default HR schema and I have created a view object and the query of the view object is like I am fetching only two columns, location ID and city. And after that I have create an view criteria. where location id equal to a bind variable and and this is the bind variable value and then i've created two view accessor and i've shuttle i've selected the view criteria here and in the parameters values i've selected as the location id and similarly i've done for location id okay so that's all now I will create uh, the application module. I have already exposed this view object to the application module. And uh, now we will see how it will work actually. Okay, we have different view objects. So this is our view object. You click on the new button and I will select this location ID. And if you can see, we, we only get one option. If we select another location ID, we will get another option. Similarly, I get choose another option. Then we got Bombay and so on. So whenever you are creating an dependent LOVs, just make sure that you have to create view accessor and uh, I mean, you have to create some view criteria and you have to select the right bind bind parameter value in the view accessor that's all and you can create dependent LOVs when you create on the uh, on the on the pages you are i mean this is i have done to show on the application module i've just run click and run the application module but if you are doing on the pages you have to you have to do uh, you have to adjust with the partial page rendering feature through partial triggers and so on and then you can achieve dependent LOVs Okay, that's all. Thank you.